Hello there and welcome back to my desk. Uh, it's been a while, hasn't it? So just to be clear, I am beginning to resume work on videos on my main channel, but in the meantime, I have this thing to show you guys. Uh, I, I, have, I don't know what this is. Look at this. Pay to play arcade machine money box. Uh, so this is a funny story. Uh, I, I did not deliberately get this. This was given to me by a store owner when I was out like finding retro games and stuff and basically a shop owner gave it to me for free because it was literally taking up space and he said he probably couldn't sell it. Uh, so this should bode well. Uh, this is like one of those uh, weird little arcade game nostalgia thingies. I think this like monster design is like from Space Invaders. And uh, look, look, look at the box. It says includes full arcade game. No, it doesn't. If you look, if you look, if you look closely, if I can see if I can have the light hit it, you can totally see that this is an LCD game display. So, uh, yeah, uh, we Ashens now, basically. And <laughs> if, if we look on the back here, how to use in order to activate the arcade game. So it's basically sort of a money bank, but it also doubles as like a playable LCD game, I'm assuming. In order to activate the arcade game on a money box, a coin must be inserted to the top. For each coin inserted, you will receive two minutes of arcade-style gaming action. When you have just 30 seconds of gameplay remaining, the money box will sound an alarm, sound an alarm giving you plenty of time to insert another coin for a longer game. And it requires two AAA batteries, not included. Choking hazard, sat in the end. That's how you know we are really doing this for, for real. Okay. <laughs> and uh, we have, like, uh, Blue Sky Designs and Paladon... Paladon? Paladon, Paladon products to, to thank for this. But uh, I don't know where this comes from. It, there's no like branding on this. It's just arcade machine, and it's vaguely Space Invaders theme because I'm assuming that's what it is. Judging from the LCD game, it's sort of a ripoff of Space Invaders. But uh, there's no branding on this. It's probably like I have no idea where this came from. But it's not even opened yet. There's a tape seal on the back, and it's still. I mean, we have the pleasure of opening it. The box is a little bit like beat up. Like there's this little. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's definitely seen some rough, rough days, but uh, we can finally open this up and uh, I don't know, just open it up, see what happens. Uh, let's call this like things of disinterest. I don't know, just see what what the heck this is. Oh boy. And there it is, right there. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my God. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is, uh, Earth Defenders. <laughs> I like how that is literally the opposite of Space Invaders. Like, I can't believe they did that. Yeah, this is obviously a ripoff of that game. And, uh, we got a op, we, whoops, we got an off switch, on off switch, and there's Try Me, which I'm assuming is free play, which is weird, because normally you're supposed to, like, I don't know, enter some, like, money in here to play the game. And, of course, there's a, there's a little opening here, which... And yep, you open it and just money goes in here, I guess. There's lots of like empty space inside here. So that's nice. That's like the PCB in there, is it? Oops. Let me just uh put that back in there. Let me just peel off this uh nice little uh, slow and steady. There we go. Yeah, this is uh <laughs> I mean, this button feels fine. I have no idea what's up with this joystick. It's like a, it's like a switch, but it's like a, just a small little plastic thingy thing. Just goes left and right. This is like the worst joystick. It's like a popsicle stick that's just like stuck inside there, and then you just have to flick it left and right. But uh, let's go ahead and put some batteries in. So you need a screwdriver to open this. I luckily have one on hand. All right, two triple ways. All right, moment of truth. Let us just, uh, well, let me adjust the angle first and then we'll turn it on. Okay, lowered the camera, but uh, let us just on. Nothing. Uh, try me. Nothing either. 
Uh, that's weird. I could swear these are fresh batteries. Uh, is it really dead? I came all this way and it's dead. Oh God. Okay. Oh, oh, uh, there it is. Wait, hold up. Wait, let me turn it on. So you have to press, you have to press the fire button for it to like actually show anything. Okay, I'm just gonna leave the battery lit off. Uh, let me just go ahead and like, if you flick on try me, it does nothing. And then I press fire. And there it is. Oh. Oh, what? Wow, try me. It literally tries it for like one second and then it turns off. Wait. Fire? I can, I can move it. Is that it? All I can do is like move it around and then like one bullet and then it just turns off. <laughs> That's what they call the demo? That is so dumb. <laughs> it's like, I can't even fire. Like, the fire button does nothing and it just turns off. That is so weird. Okay, what if I press on? Nothing happens. Well, I guess I actually, so if I just turn on, nothing happens. And I actually have to insert like a coin or something in order to actually have it register. I uh, guess I'll be back with a coin. Whoa, coins! Okay, let's just plop in like a 50 cent inside here, see what happens. Ah, there we go. Let's go! One down. Shoot one. And then... Does the does shift just keep on rep- You just keep on respawning? Wait, why did that not hit him? There we go, one. Two. Three. I should probably zoom in. Okay. One. Ooh. Level, that's like level one that the hut display, like life. I'm guessing the stars are my health, but like. Level. Is that like my level? My current level? How much, how many like. Oh, did I just, I can just keep shooting them. There we go, level two! Oh, now there's two rows of them. How many rows are there maximum? Oh, whoop. Wow, this is real arcade action, full arcade game. Oh, Space Invaders just as, oh, I died. <laughs> Space Invaders just as I remembered it. Level three! Oh my god, can we get, can we reach max level? Okay. It doesn't even tell you like how many ships you've defeated. It's just like just mash buttons and then shoot. Oh, level four. Oh, oh, is that the alarm? What? Oh, am I die? Oh wait, free. Okay, there's free. What? There's like no chance to react. They're like so low. Oh, I died. <laughs> Game over. Okay. Oh. I can still play? Okay. So it's just like a time limit thing? It's not two minutes yet. I'll just, uh... Okay. And... Oh. <laughs> what an unceremonious end. It's just like, oop. It's gone. It's like it just died on you mid-game. So... Now, now the, the funny thing is, you could just open it and then just take the coins out. It's like rattling very loud in here. Why must it like... Flip it upside down. Can I, like, get it out again? No. I wonder, like, what kind of, like... I can't, can I, like, trick it? If I take, like, a coin and just pull it, like, halfway through? Uh, oh, no. No? Oh. Alright. Just dumb like that. Wow! Save money. Get play, play games. Save money. What a great design philosophy for a piece of tech. Too bad it's like a LCD game. I mean, imagine if it was if this was like one of the tiny arcade cabinets. That would be really sick. Like the tiny arcade cabinets are way better than this, probably. This is just a Space Invaders LCD clone. Which, like, what else can I say about it? I'm guessing if I like enter another coin mid game, it will let me like extend the playtime. So that's supposed to be like the coin deposit sound and I can play for like four minutes. I'm not gonna let you just sit here and watch me play four minutes of an LCD game. 
that like snow. Oh, so I turn off and turn on. There goes my there goes my money. Try me, try me does nothing. Try me is just like <laughs> try me doesn't even let you try. It just lets you look at the screen for two seconds and then it's gone. So let's go ahead and get our money out. Oh. Come on. Man, this is like the hardest thing to get money out of. Like, there's a, like a lip. There's like a raised lip near the server. So you can't just like shake it like this. And then have the money come out. Oh! Ah! It fell. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, this is a very terrible design. There's like a raised lip. You can't just like have the money slide out from underneath there. You have to like manually reach in and just like dig it out yourself. Which is like... Dumb. There is like one coin left in this machine and I'm just struggling to get it out. I can feel it. I just have to like... Oh my god, this is the worst design. For a money box ever. Can I can I get can I get light inside us? Look and look look at look can I can it turn on the flashlight? Okay, I have the flashlight turn on. Look at look at this design. That's like the worst way to like have we just might as, well, might as well take a peek inside while we're at it. It's like a super basic circuit board. And then Yeah, that's about it. But like this coin, you can see it flowing around in there. And like I can't I can't get it out. It's like, it's a, it's a pain to get out because of these raised bits of plastic. I just like, no matter how much I try to dig it, it just doesn't want to come out. That's like the worst thing, that's the worst design thing ever I've ever seen. Oh my god, I finally got it out. This is like the most frustrating. <laughs> I spent almost five minutes trying to get this thing out. Oh my god, what kind of design is that? And I'm gonna have to like put it in again to see what, if it does anything when I switch it on to try me. Nothing. Of course. Why would it be nothing and I have to get it out again? Come on. There! Alright. Uh, Earth Defenders. As an arcade game, no, as an LCD game, it's basically unremarkable, maybe even just mediocre. As a money bank, it is frustrating. I can't imagine how much this actually costs. I don't actually know that yet. I might actually, I might actually go look it up. Okay, that's kind of funny. I did not know Classic Game Room actually reviewed this exact same unit back in 2011. So I guess this has been around for quite a while. But I don't know the exact MSRP of this thing, but there's like this eBay listing out there for like 33 US dollars. And I was like, and I was gonna be like, for that price, you might as well just get a tiny arcade because like, this is just an LCD game. And from what I remember, Paladon, Paladon, the guys who made like this thing, have actually made like arcade, like miniature arcades that play like actual games and stuff like LCD games. So like I'm guessing this is just one of their like lower end cheaper offerings from like ten, at least 10 years ago at this point. But uh yeah, ultimately this thing is just a it, it's a it's it's a it's a I mean it's a cool money bank like it's a cool concept like you insert money and then you can play for a short while of time. I'm pretty sure there's like plenty other replica arcade miniature arcade things to have like have this exact same concept but uh ultimately i just like this is just unremarkable i mean it looks cool if you look at it from like a far away distance you, if you don't know that this is an lcd game but uh earth defenders is it, it's it's just ultimately a thing that exists it's uh i got it for free i can't complain but uh <laughs> it's it's i have i don't have much else to say about this but uh if you just like, you know, if you've watched this video for this long and just saw me tinker with this thing, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I can't believe I have kept your interest for this long. Now, <laughs> you should probably go and watch something else. But uh, I will be back soon, hopefully this month, with more videos on my main channel. There's lots of cool things I want to show now that I am, like, basically 99% done with university and what's left to do is graduate, but, uh, after that, I will hopefully begin working more on YouTube stuff because that's like what I wanted to do now. I've been like, it's been so long since I've made a YouTube video, like actually produce a YouTube video on my main channel. So I really want to go do that. But uh, thank you for taking a look at this little diversion with me and uh, stay safe and I'll see you guys next time.